Hi, I'm Julie McCaffrey from the Chicago Botanic Garden, and as crews are finishing work on the Daniel F. and Ada L. Rice Plant Conservation Science Center, our scientists are getting very excited to move into the new state-of-the-art facilities. One of our important conservation initiatives is to collect and preserve seeds from rare and endangered species to ensure their long-term survival. I'm here in one of our current laboratories, and as you can see, it's jam-packed with scientists, all doing important research and conservation work. To illustrate how crowded the labs are, we can see two different projects share the same space. Our vital seeds bank storage is right here in four ordinary freezers. And literally, when we turn around, we are in the soil laboratory, where researchers are exploring complex interactions happening underground. So I'm here with Emily Yates, who's the seed bank coordinator, and she's going to show us around her space. Um, this is your bench. Yeah, exactly. So um, in the seed lab, we share this lab with a lot of grad students and other scientists. And this is our lab space here. It's about maybe six by four um, feet space. And we do a lot of our seed processing in this part of the lab. Um, we do some seed cleaning here, which is going on right now with a, a scurpus. And we do most of this by hand in all these different sizes of sieves that we keep up here. And um, a lot of this is very mundane type of work, very um, with your hands and just takes a lot of time. Um, part of what we do in the lab also happens on in various places and locations. We have our freezers in this lab um, as well as some machinery for doing seed counting and weighing. Um, we do a lot of our cleaning also off-site in a seed cleaning trailer, so you get the picture that we're kind of spread out in this lab and we have um, to run around a little bit um, to various lab spaces to, to complete all of our work. So after we clean um, all the seeds, we count and weigh each collection and um, we use this machine to help make things a little bit easier for us. We usually have about 300 to 350 collections coming in each season. Um, and so if we had to do the counting by hand, it would take us an enormous amount of time. So this machine helps us to um, do the counting in a more efficient manner. And then we do weighing of each of the seed collections um, with just a simple balance so that we can tell the bulk of our collections and how much we have, which helps us when we divide our collections between here and what we keep at the garden and what we send to the Millennium Seed Bank at Kew and what we send to Fort Collins, Colorado for the national program. But we do store some of the seeds on site, right? Exactly. Um, we store a fourth of each collection here at the garden in our seed bank, um, which is housed over in our four freezers um, on the side of the building. And we use foil packets that have that are specially treated so that we can seal them with an iron. And when they're heated to a certain degree, they're hermetically sealed so that no air can get in, which helps to keep the seeds viable um, for long-term storage. And so our seed bank is comprised of these four freezers, which is about 100 square feet at this point, and this is what the inside of our seed bank looks like. Great, so the facilities are pretty near capacity? They're very much near capacity. Um, our four freezers, which used to be five, but one of them has gone down, so we're down to four now, which is a little bit um, difficult. It's probably a square footage of about 100 square feet for the seed bank now, um, and we're pretty full. Great, well let's see what your new facilities are going to look like. We're here in the new Plant Science Center, and as you can see, we're looking at the visitor gallery um, where people are going to be able to see into the labs. Emily, what do you think of your new lab? It's great, it's wonderful. We're gonna have over a thousand square feet of new space to clean, store, and bank um, seeds from the seed bank. And this will help us conserve seeds for the future by allowing more space for volunteers on the central middle table we generally have about 10 to 15 volunteers at a time cleaning seeds for us. Um, and this will allow a lot more space and we'll have some new equipment, a new aspirator, and also a new um, walk-in seed bank with um, over a thousand square feet of storage. So let's look inside the seed vault. And how many seeds do you think you can collect in this space? So in the new seed vault, we'll be storing um, almost 30 million seeds from 1,500 species from the tall grass prairie and surrounding ecoregions. And so eventually when we move in, um, it'll be lined with shelves and it'll be at negative 20 degrees Celsius. And we'll have to have our parkas lined up in here um, because when we come in the seed vault, it will be extremely chilly. Um, there's a safety lock on the door so nobody can get locked in because it's going to be really cold in here. So we'll be moving into the new seed lab and the new seed vault um, at the, in the middle of September and we'll be ready for the grand opening on September 23rd. Great. I can't wait. Me too.